Okay, so today we're going to do a four-way comparison of the four Starship prototypes so far. That's serial number 8, 9, 10, and 11. Serial number 11 flew on March 30th. I would love to tell you that that was a beautiful day, you could see a lot of things, great weather, and that it all worked out great, great landing, but that's not what we're going to see today. It was a very foggy day. So the launch and the ending are both very hard to see. SpaceX also had some glitches with their video camera streams. So it's kind of choppy. You lose a lot of camera feeds and you'll see that. There's a couple of things I want you to watch and then we'll talk about at the, the ending too. But a couple of things I want you to watch for um, in both the serial number 10, which will be on your lower left, and the serial number 11, which will be on your lower right, uh, you can see the engines cycle between dark exhaust and then clear, and then dark exhaust and then clear. And I think this is the air fuel ratio or oxygen methane ratio of the engines. For example, I think as you have more methane, they get darker. As you get more oxygen, they get leaner and cleaner and um, get more clear. Um, so that's one thing. Also, we get a little bit of a sneak peek in one of the engineering cameras on SN11 on your lower right. You'll see a view pointing downward through what I believe is the methane tank. So you'll see some fog and liquid methane, and then there is a tube feeding the liquid oxygen around the side. And so uh, that will all point out when that time comes. And I think that's about it. Let's take a look. Okay, all these videos are synchronized on the takeoff at T0. And so you'll see all the engines light up and we'll take off from the pad. You can see serial number 11 on the right, lower right. Very foggy day, but you can see the glow from those engines. We will see some cameras on the vehicle itself. Great views of serial number 10 on your lower left as they pan up from the uh, from the launch pad and you can see the vibration of the cameras from just the massive amount of noise on the lower right you have serial number 11 you can see a little bit of fire coming from one of these pipes here you can see that may have been a failure that may explain what happens later in the flight in your upper right you see serial number nine you can see the cycling of that engine dark and then a little clearer and then both nine and ten dark and then a little bit clearer and kind of, as I think they're changing the fuel mixture. Now in serial number 11, you can see that dark and then clear, dark, and then clear. I think this, here's the, uh, you can see on serial number 11, three engines running under the prototype. I think we're coming up on the uh, engineering camera. We may have already missed it. And so, um, serial number eight and nine, which are on the top of your screen, will shut off one engine at about one minute 42. Serial number 10, and I believe, yes, serial number 10 and 11 both shut off their engines at about 2.15, shut off one engine at 2.15. And that's what pretty well viewed the the second engine cutoff is hard to see on serial number 11. There you go, you have one engine cutoff on both serial number 8 and 9 on the top of your screen. And in about 20 more seconds, we're going to see those engine cutoffs on serial numbers 10 and 11. Now, the, my theory on that is that we have more fuel on those prototypes because they're changing the landing burn. They're trying to give themselves a little more fuel for landing to... Uh, have a bit more successful landing burn, so they need to run those three engines a little bit longer on the more recent prototypes. There is one engine shut down on both 10 and 11 on the bottom of your screen. And you can still see some venting of condensation. Uh, also, as you see, the uh, thrust coming from underneath there. And when we get to about 315, we're going to see all the prototypes should shut down one more engine, so then they'll be down to one engine. They're currently all having two engine power. So these are Raptor engines. These are methane and oxygen powered Raptor engines. So 
So far, pretty good flight record with these Raptor engines, but you'll see in serial number 11, we may have had our one, one of our major glitches with the Raptor engine. Uh, as you saw the little flames early on, that maybe give a, give a clue as to what had happened. Coming up on second engine shutdown on all the vehicles in about 10 seconds. When the engine shut down, you can see the other engines gimbal around to try to keep balance. Here we go, they're shut down and you can see them gimbal around and try to keep balance. So in other words, these engines uh, can be moved side to side and front to back in order to steer the ship. The fins are no, not of much use at this speed. So the way the vehicle keeps its orientation is by uh, adjusting the angle of, those, of the thrust vector. So that's called gimbling. You can see the serial number 11, the video kind of gets glitchy and cuts out. I think they lost some of their cameras. And unfortunately that added to a poor, poor viewing of the whole uh, flight on the 30th of March. So they're all now getting to their high altitude. Serial number eight went to 12.5 kilometers. Serial numbers nine through 11 all went to 10 kilometers. And they kind of hover there as they approach Apogee, the highest point in their trajectory. They are just floating and, uh, under the power of that Raptor engine. Uh, with a slight breeze, you can see serial number 10 and serial number 11, I believe, although we can't tell exactly when it does its belly flop. They will belly flop first. And here comes the belly flop of serial number 10, and I think serial number 11 belly flopped at the same time. We don't have that camera view, but in a couple seconds it'll come back and it'll show us a view from the skirt. Now you can see serial number 9 doing its belly flop. There's the view from the skirt, but it's frozen and now it moves. And so obviously in its belly flop as well. There's serial number eight doing its belly flop. So it kind of hovered the longest of all. So they shortened the hover uh, with the more recent prototypes. Plus uh, nine through 11 uh, only go to 10 kilometers. So as we get down near the bottom, you're gonna see serial number 10 light its engines. It will do a pretty successful um, flip and burn to flip back to horizontal, uh, a vertical and, and get have a hard landing and actually survive the landing. Unfortunately, eight minutes later, it did explode anyway. So that will be the first to fire its engines. Then serial number nine and serial eight will also uh, do the same thing. On serial number 11 though, we'll take a look. Uh, but as it fires its engines, the video freezes and I think that's the loss of the vehicle. And so you'll see that coming up. So you see uh, coming up here in a couple of seconds on the lower right, serial number 11, as you'll see some of the engines gimbal out of the way. And then when it lights its engines, it lights its engine. One engine we see light and then the video freezes, which I think is total vehicle loss. I think it exploded in midair, either terminated by the flight termination system or by a catastrophic explosion. Now you can see serial number 10 light its engines it lit all three, and then it'll shut down two of those three. Right now it shuts down two of those, and it uh, makes its landing attempt with one. And it has been the most successful of all so far. Unfortunately, serial number 11 was less successful. Serial number nine, now you can see the engine's firing. Didn't quite fire that second engine, so it overswings and has a very hard landing and explodes. Serial number eight is going to light both engines but you can see some green color coming out of those engines and that means that the internal components of the engine are being consumed and you're losing thrust and so therefore it hit hard and exploded as well so serial number eight and nine were basically too hard to survive serial number 10 landed a little bit hard but it actually survived the landing unfortunately eight minutes later still exploded Serial number 11, unfortunately, had a catastrophic, looks like a catastrophic failure when it relit the Raptor engines at a 549. And when we, we freeze that video feed, that was loss of the vehicle, unfortunately. So serial number 15 should be uh, fully stacked in Boca Chica. They should uh, get that over to the pad. And I hope within a week or two, we can see that fly. Um, they skipped over serial numbers 12, 13, and 14 because... There's, they're flying with old hardware and they've already made a, well, quite a bit of changes uh, starting with serial number 15. So they scrapped 12 through 14 and they're gonna jump ahead to serial number 15 and hopefully um, they can figure out what happened with serial number 11 and 
get that solved and we can have a landing like serial number 10, but just a little bit gentler. So, okay. Well, thanks for watching.